being repeated, robots are going to take over the world is pretty unrealistic and probably won't happen in the coming years. Okay. In this time and age, we're going to see more and more things that look like science fiction and less and less things that look like regular jobs. Our cars are very quickly going to drive themselves, which means we're going to need less and less car drivers. We're going to use Siri to automate a lot of work that's currently done by customer service reps and troubleshooters. And we're already seeing robots transporting goods inside of factories, which means we're going to need less factory workers walking up and down the aisle. Now, what do you think about what will happen to the jobs when cars start drive themselves or when machines start cook our food and we actually start relying on them? We have to see the changes coming and create new jobs that still make sense in this robot-filled future. The good part is we've tackled big changes before, like when um, factory work or workers dropped by 75% and when and when farming jobs dropped by 90%. However, this time it's different. It's different because we don't have time. We have to solve this and fast. We might only have 10 or 15 years to figure this out. A study by the economic World Economic Forum predicts that around 85 million jobs could be lost in the next 10 years because of all these smart machines and the new technology that we're seeing and we as humans are actually creating. Whether you're a tech genius or someone with a regular job, this will affect you soon, very soon. While researching, I actually found many articles talking about how big companies are replacing their employers for, uh, for robots in the current time. As you see here, Foxconn replaces 60,000 factory workers with robots. By the way, Foxconn is a multinational company that makes the parts in the phone that you're holding right now. Then a question popped in my head. Why should an employer or a company employ an employee who's a human and give them a certain wage every month that will certainly uh, increase because of inflation, a human who's always complaining and can't reach the accuracy of some robots in industries this day, these days. Rather than these companies just making a one-time purchase of a robot that will probably pay itself in one to two years. So, what can we do? People in industries like tech need to step up. If we don't act, act fast, we could be living in a world full of robots, high unemployment, and a pretty gloomy situation. Now, I want to work on creating robots and tech that are useful when I grow up. And maybe, just maybe, one of the robots that I actually make will replace a human being. But I believe, if you start making changes now, we can create jobs that, are, that, that people actually enjoy and spark the innovation needed uh, to replace the ones lost to tech. Now, do you want to know who got fired first? The workers who are stuck on the SMD line all day, doing the same thing over and over. Now, do you want to know who didn't get fired? The phone designers that designed the phones in the first place and use creativity in the workplace. The key to avoiding a jobless future, in my opinion, is remembering what makes us humans. We need a new generation of jobs that, use, that makes use of our unique talents and passion. But here's the kicker. We've kind of brought this upon ourselves. We've created job titles that are so narrow and defined that as tech gets better, they will simply vanish. To fix this, we need to create jobs that focus on skills people bring to work rather than just the tasks they do. Robots are great at doing repetitive stuff, <coughs> but humans are awesome at combining skills and creativity to solve new problems. 
We need to design jobs that keep humans doing what they're best at. Managers need to think about what tasks might disappear soon and plan for more interesting work for their employers. We should give the repetitive, boring tasks like moving boxes or, cook or cooking food to the robot and let humans do the more exciting stuff that they actually want to do. Okay, now let's continue. People are incredible outside of work, especially on weekends when they're rested. Imagine turning these weekend passions into your weekday jobs. What right now, many jobs sound dull and narrow, pushing people to make boring contributions. But when, pe when we encourage people to be more than their, just their job titles, they can do amazing things. Our imagination and creativity are where new products, services, and whole industries are born. I believe future jobs will come from people who are creative and imaginative, but only if we give them to freedom to become inventors and explorers. Leaders should stop telling people what to do and start asking them what problems they want to solve at work. If you want jobs that are safe from robots, leaders must change their mindset. Let people bring their weekend selves to work on, week on weekdays, making Sunday something to look forward to. Join me in bringing more fun to our working lives as we redesign work for an era of intelligence. Thank you.